Have you ever wondered why other people get better results than you doing the same work? I think the answer could lie in your intent. See, when you're thinking about a training program, you've got constraints, which are essentially the parameters, the sets, the reps, the rest periods, things like that. But when it comes to implementing that program, you have your intent, which is the focus and execution behind the program. So when we're trying to develop speed, for example, the constraints are one to five repetitions or something at a fairly short distance with long rest periods. If we're looking at strength, the constraints are very similar. One to five repetitions, long rest periods. With hypertrophy or tissue development, we want high repetitions, usually eight or more, with typically shorter rest periods. That area, I think, is generally pretty well done. It's the intent side that sometimes is missing. When we're back to speed, we must do everything at our maximal capacity. If we're sprinting, it has to be our top speed. If we're jumping, we're trying to jump as high as we can. If we're throwing something, we're trying to throw it as hard and as far as we can. Okay, the constraints are in place to allow that maximal output when it comes to speed. Strength, again, is very similar. The constraints give us low repetitions and long rest so that every repetition is done with a very high load and done with our max intent. So if the load was any lighter, we would be throwing it, okay? We're always trying to push through, not just enough to overcome the weight, but um, our max effort in all the reps, if strength is the outcome. With hypertrophy, it's a little bit different. The reps are higher. The key intent is time under tension. So we don't wanna do anything to cheat that. We wanna move slow through our repetitions we want to not relax the muscle at the top or the bottom. We're not looking to get extra rest to get through the set. We're actually looking to maximize how much strain is put on that tissue for that set. That also means we're not relying on different muscle groups to help us muscle through the set because our key intent is putting tension through a specific tissue or muscle for as much time as possible. If your constraints are good, make sure your intent is on point because when those things come together, you've got a truly effective training program.